evening guys, welcome to another devotional. Today we're going to be continuing on in the Armour of God series that we started a couple weeks ago. Today we're going to be in verse 14 of Ephesians chapter 6, where it says, Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth, which we spoke about last week, and the body armour of God's righteousness, which we'll be speaking about today. So if you think when a soldier goes out to fight, he's given body armour, and that body armour gives him a certain amount of confidence to be able to go out to know he can take a hit, and he can get back up again, and he can keep on fighting. You're not going to send a soldier out without body armor. They're not going to have the confidence, because they know the moment I get hit, I can get hit with the smallest thing, and I will still be taken out. I might be taken out, I might be put in the hospital, I might be taken out of this life completely. Whereas body armor enables a soldier to be able to take a hit or more. Body armor gives a soldier a certain amount of confidence to fight. Likewise with us, if we had body armor, we would feel the same way. We'd feel a certain amount of confidence to say, you know what, yeah, I can do this because I know I'm able to take a hit and I'm, I'm able to keep on going. If someone was to tell us, hey, you've got to go out and fight and you're not given any body armor, we'd be like, you're not equipping me at all. Any soldier needs body armor. They need to know that they can go out there, they can fight, they can take a hit or two, and they can keep on going. And that's what Paul's talking about here, where a soldier needs to have the body armor of God's righteousness, it says here. And notice, this is the body armor of God's righteousness. It's not our own righteousness. And that's the key here, because it gives us a confidence that's not in us. It's not founded in us. It's founded in God. And that's then a confidence that is unshakable, because for us, we know that our own righteousness isn't really a true confidence. We won't have ever done enough to merit a certain amount of righteousness. We won't have been sinless enough to merit righteousness, to merit being counted as righteousness. Being counted as righteous, sorry. We won't have ever done enough, and we won't have ever done too little amount of sin to then be counted as righteous, because the moment you miss the mark, well, that's it, you've missed it. The moment you take a clean sheet of paper and you just put one speck of dirt on it, that's it. It's no longer clean. It's now has something on it. And it's the same with us. So then we're left empty and we're saying, well, hey, I, I have no righteousness of my own. And that's what Paul speaks about here. It's not our own righteousness that we're having the confidence in. It's the righteousness of God that we have the confidence in. So when we sin, we then don't have to just give up like we sometimes want to do. You know, if it's, well, that's it, I've messed up, I may as well just keep on going in my sin. Or sometimes we feel like, I messed up, well, I've done it, I've blown it, I've blown it, Lord, I'm done, I'm done, you may as well just kill me now. Because sometimes we feel like we're just condemning ourselves after we've sinned. And it can do one of those two things, but both of those things aren't right to do. Because... As the Lord tells us plenty of times throughout Scripture, hey, this righteousness is not your own. You mess up. And actually, that mess up has been paid for by Christ himself upon the cross. This righteousness isn't your own. This righteousness is God's righteousness, is Christ's righteousness that is counted on your behalf. So instead of feeling as if we've blown it whenever we mess up, we can actually have the confidence in God's right, God's righteousness and keep on moving. We can repent. We can turn away from what we've decided. To, hey, ah, oh, I messed up. I sinned here. We can turn away. We can turn to God. We can do that 180 turnaround and say, okay, Lord, please help me not to do this, but to actually to do righteousness, to actually walk in your ways. So then we can press on towards Jesus because... Our righteousness isn't dependent upon us. It's dependent upon the finished work of the cross. And that's the key thing. It's finished. It's done. It's not something that is continually being worked out. It's a righteousness that God counts on our behalf. So I want to encourage you guys to put on God's righteousness as our body armor. Because his righteousness gives us the confidence that our own righteousness simply can't give because it's non-existent. We're not righteous in and of ourselves. So we can know that we're righteous in him. We know that the finished work of the cross is enough. So then we can remember that, hey, we've been made righteous through Christ. And so when all these mess ups happen, when these things happen, we can say, 
you know what? I'm going to keep pressing on towards the goal, as Paul says. I can keep on pressing on towards Christ, knowing that he will continually renew me. He will continually work in me to work out those things as I press on towards him, rather than me feeling like I have to give up because I'm no longer righteous. Because I can remember that my righteousness is in Christ, not in myself. So I want to encourage you guys with that tonight. Uh, God bless you.